again. Happy Wednesday. I remembered what day it is because I already have had this issue doing an Instagram story today that I was like, oh my goodness, is it Tuesday? Is it Wednesday? Come to find out, it's Wednesday. We are here a little bit early, so as you guys are tuning in, go ahead and share with us where you're visiting from, what you've got going on in your neck of the woods. We are so excited to be here today with you, my friends, because we are working on an amazing little monogrammed ornament. Guys, this monogram ornament is probably one of the most store-bought monogram ornaments that you're gonna be able to make with your Cricut this year. Um, due to the fact that we are hacking the system a little bit, we're giving you a few different options to be able to make this project. So we're super excited. So this right here, we're going to teach you guys how to cut the veneer. Um, and then we're also going to be making the amazing faux leather um, tassel. So this is gonna be a really fun project. You're not going to believe at how easy it is to be able to do both of these pieces. And Rachel, look at how well it coordinates with the so chunky cute. stocking. So cute. So Lock Tanner said these could be ornaments, stocking tags, that you could make these placeholders, whatever you want to do. Yeah. They're super cute. Size them however you want to. They're adorable. Really We cute. really love this technique because what we're doing, the ones that we've made, we actually used Cricut Craft Board. Um, so this is, you know, the Cricut um, Craft Board. Is it? Um, chip board, the Cricut chip board um, or craft board. There's different materials. So like today we're cutting it with the actual craft board, which can be cut with our Explore friends. So a big question we get all the time is Tanner, can I you know, be able to use my Cricut Explore um, and things like that? to make a lot of your projects that makers gonna learn? And the answer is, of course you can, my friends. We are here to help educate every single cricketer out there. Um, so we're super excited. So hello, oh my goodness, I love seeing all of our repeat guests. If you are a first time visitor and a new friend of the show, go ahead and let us know that you're a first time guest so we can welcome you to our craft community. If you're brand new here, we wanna say thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by. I'm Tanner, the founder of Makers Gonna Learn. We teach people how to master their die cutting machine. Rachel's behind the camera moderating, dropping you guys all the comments in the entire world. It is so good. So here every single day we've been coming live, sharing with you guys some amazing video tutorials for Christmas. We've been decorating at the house House today we've been planning a lot of goodness for you guys we're literally so excited to end out the year super strong and kick off 2021 even stronger um, so that's gonna be a lot of fun but today we do have our Black Friday deals already launched and you guys have been showing up and showing out to get these deals if you want to grab our membership thousands of cut falls hundreds of fonts $97 30 days to master the Cricut challenge. You can get this today included in your year membership. Guys, the traditional year membership is usually $191.88, okay? Almost $200. Today you can get that for $40 off and we'll grandfather you in to get that deal every single year. So it's a really great time for you to join if you haven't already. All you've gotta do, use the coupon code BEST at checkout. Hello from Puerto Rico. Rachel, who all is tuning in? We have a lot of people with us already. Let me see here, 68 viewing. Mm -hmm. Hello everybody, we are Hello. a little early. We are early. So people will be trickling in Yes, for sure. it'll be amazing. Oh my goodness. Well, hello everyone. We are so excited to be here. Um, again, if you have just joined the community, I think we have a new yearly member. Welcome, welcome, welcome from Southwest Florida. Stay safe in the hurricane, my friends. Um, and it is so much fun. Fun. Um, any hints on what you were up to yesterday? Stay tuned. We have lots of fun things coming. We cannot wait to share um, very soon. And Roberta is so happy they got grandfathered in. We are so excited you're grandfathered in as well. If you're an existing member, there's a button on our sales page. You can click and you'll be able to actually go over and purchase another year. Um, so Renee says, what if your membership is not over? How does that work? So it's actually a membership stacking tier. So you will purchase another year, which will lock you in at our best deal. There's a button on the sales page that says, I'm an existing member, what do I do? 
you purchase that product and then our team goes in and changes your renewal date. So we just pretty much add a year from the time you, you know, purchase. So you, however much time you have left, we just add on 12 more months. So we're really, really excited for that. So welcome our first time visitors. So much fun to have you guys here. Um, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Hey, Kat. Um, so, so much goodness. This is a project again, we're making store-bought, practically store-bought ornaments today. I'm so excited. These are going to be a lot of fun. We're using Brock the Jock. So if you guys missed it a few weeks ago, our fonts are now available to monthly, six month and yearly members. What? So any tier will be able to go download this amazing um, font today. Brock the Jock, we're going to slice out a little hole right here to be able to thread through our leather um, to hold our little tassel. And then, like Rachel said, this could be a place setting, this could be an ornament. The possibilities are truly endless when it comes to being able to work with the veneer, the craft board, or chipboard. So this is a really fun project. I love, Artie was talking about it earlier, I love the chunky, um, the chunky little knitted stocking. We picked up those from Target, I believe, Target or Hobby Lobby. All of it kind of meshes in your brain together of where the things came from. Now I'm just curious. Oh my goodness. I wish I knew. Um, but I think it was a Target find. Although yeah, we've been so. to Hobby Lobby so many times this holiday season, I have seen them. So they're there too. Right? Yeah. You'll be able to find whatever stocking you want. If you want to knit your own, please, by all means, come knit me some. We would love that. Or you can just pick them up at the craft store. So we are really excited. Shirley's tuning in and saying, how much is the year membership? Great question. Before we dive into the crafting, one more um, explanation. You will get, be able to get a year membership today for $150,188. That is $40 off our best deal. Um, that is the lowest price of the year to get $40 off. Um, and it is so much fun. So we love that. Um, you are regular price. Your membership is $191. So again, you're saving $40 on that um, year membership today and you're getting the bonuses. So lots of bonuses as well. So you get the 30 days to master the Cricut. This is a $97 program. Um, there's a lot of other bonus courses in there. Plus you get the commercial license. Plus you're getting the lowest price. So you pay the least and you get the most here at Makers Gonna Learn. So we're super excited about that. Um, and it's so much fun. Tanya has been busy. Oh my goodness. Um, great question. Difference between veneer and chipboard. Veneer is thin, 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 tiny, like thin, 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 where the chipboard is thick, thick, thick. Um, and veneer can be cut with the deep point blade in your Explorer or in your Maker. What I like to say and what we're going to talk about today is layering at Shea. So you're going to be able to layer um, your craft board or your chipboard as your base and then just add the veneer on top so it's going to be super durable um, so that you're able to sell these, you're able to do whatever you want with these. Um, so they're going to be really really adorable yeah when the uh, awesome thing about veneers if you get like a natural color of veneer you can actually stain it if you want to so you Ooh, can use different love, types of stain we do that quite often. yeah you can paint it if you want to but we really love for it to have the wood look so yes. we'll leave it natural or stain it yeah. it's really good so for anyone considering joining the membership i wanted to share with you guys a visual just because i feel like i don't do it justice trying to verbalize everything. So right here, you can join over 8,500 amazing members um, and be an active member here at Makers Gonna Learn. Our year membership is on sale for this Black Friday. You have a 16 days, guys, we're almost down to our last two weeks of this promotion where you're able to get grandfathered in, you're able to get the lowest rate and so much fun. Shirley says, I have a Cricut still in the box. Would this be good for a Cricut beginner? Shirley, I would argue this membership right here is meant for you. I truly believe that Makers Gonna Learn is the one-stop shop for hundreds and thousands or thousands of cut files, hundreds of fonts. You get all kinds of courses right here um, and there is truly so much fun. So while I say the best value for a Cricut beginner is the best because you're getting a lot. 
you're getting the 30 days to master your Cricut challenge, which is gonna walk you through so many great trainings, like being able to take the Cricut out of the box. Yeah, the very first day, guys, is taking it out, seeing what, what comes do I in get? it. We go nice and slow for yes. you all. And then once you're done with that course, you have access to every other amazing thing we have to give at Makers exactly. to Learn. So you can just kind of continue to level up your crafting, it's especially if you're a beginner. It's truly a solid foundation. Yeah. We're gonna lay that foundation for you. Um, and you know, that's on sale today. So you could be a monthly member for $19.99 a month and you get the cut falls, the fonts, um, a lot of benefits, or you can go yearly. You save that money, you pay up front, but you, on the back end, you're saving a ton and getting a lot more. So it's the best of both worlds. Um, and we love that. So definitely check it out if you haven't already. Again, you want to act fast because the Black Friday deal will be going away on Black Friday. So yay. Anywho, this is what we're working with today, my friends. We have a few different things you're going to need for today's project. So what you're going to end up with is two layers in different colors of your R for your monogram today. Next is our leather, um, or excuse me, our leather tassel. This is um, a tassel right here. Believe it or not, we're gonna share with you guys how to do this. So um, you will be able to take this file. All you need to do to format it once it's in Cricut Design Space is attach it. So we've already attached it. So now that it's attached, I think we have a second one we'll, we'll be able to show you. Yep, we have a second one right here. So I'll delete this. Um, or actually I'm gonna leave it and just ungroup it because I like the color. So I'm gonna delete this one. Um, so we've already got the color. So if we select all of this, it's go import in unattached. Okay, so this is go import in unattached. We cannot attach the layers for you in Cricut. So all you have to do for this file is see all these little lines. These are actually the cut lines for the faux leather. Um, so you'll want to be able to select this and press attach very easy it'll take a second because it just works through attaching all these now your little lines if we zoom in here my friends you're going to see all the lines are just right here ready to go um, and go you know cut right through for you for us to make this tassel okay um, and then what we're doing over here is again we are working with the brock the jock um, so Brock the Jock is honestly one of my favorite fonts. Like I love Well, it's a this good one. thick font that's basic. It doesn't have too much character, but enough character to be able to use on a wide array of different projects. 100%. So it's a good one. We also have a banner font in this Brock the Jock if you ever Ooh. wanted to make a fun banner. So that's love something that. to think about. I love, love, love. For the holiday season if you wanted to. For sure. This one's really good. A um, lot of different options. Great for stenciling, great for a little of everything, honestly. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take it and you're gonna wanna get this close to four inches. So we were doing four inches tall and then we've added in this little circle. The little circle here is what we're using to cut out the little hole. Um, so we're actually gonna slice it. So when you're slicing, you can only slice two layers at a time. Um, so just like this, you'll select both layers just like so, and then you'll press slice. And then look what happens, my friends. After you've sliced it, bada bing, bada boom. You can delete this one out, you can delete this one out, and you have it, just like so. Then you'll want to duplicate it, and you're gonna wanna change the color right here just to a different color, because what this is gonna represent is your um, two different mats for the B. Um, so the B is going to have one that would be your backing, your craft board or chipboard, and then one is going to be your veneer. So they will end up layering on top of each other really well, just like so. So that is awesome. And then we can zoom out here just like this. Let's zoom out a little bit more. Um, and then you can delete this. So right now we've been able to take the Brock the Jock font, um, slice out the little hole to thread the leather through. And then we've been able to attach the leather tassel file so that you're able to easily go through, have it cut, and everything's gonna be handled for you, which is incredible because this is a lot of fun. So if we press make it right now, this is going to send it on to three different mats. 
Um, so you're going to have your R, then another R, and then your little your little tassel. Um, we may end up making this a little bit smaller because we only have a 12 inch piece of faux leather. Um, so we'll just make this a little smaller, still showing at 13 inches. We're using um, our faux leather from our friends at um, six, one, four, three vinyl. Not used to that change, Hannah. Rachel, we're oh not my used gosh. to it. Whew, that was a close call, my friends. That was a close <laughs> one. That was a close one. So our friends at one, four, three vinyl have the faux leather. Um, they're really great. So before we start cutting through, if you want to show on the overhead, I can kind of show some of the material we're working with today. Um, you will need you know, this veneer. So this veneer is found at Cricut. This is the natural wood veneer and walnut. Um, so Rachel was talking about how you can actually use this stuff and stain it. So people, you know, like to ask, Tanner, why are you, why are you using something on the back of the veneer? Guys, this veneer is super thin. Like, I mean, I could snap this, like, like literally just, you know, it snaps really easily. Um, so it's not really that durable, but it looks so high end. So you're going to really, really, really love, love, love um, doing this right here. So really great. We're only going to need to cut this one time. So this will be really easy just to plop on the mat, let it do its thing and move on. It cuts really well. So if you, you know, wanted to be able to just kind of cut some off, like you're able to cut with this veneer really, really easily. It cuts like paper, which yeah. is great. Yeah, not too look, much look resistance there. Look at that. So you're able to cut really well. Um, but this is what we're using for our top layer. Our second layer, if you're using a Cricut Explorer, this is the top of the line product for you to try. It's the craft board sampler. It's going to give you three different colors of craft board. This is great for 3D projects. This is great for durable projects. Anything like that, you're going to want to have some type of craft board, you know, anything like this. It's going to be really well. We're just going to use just the craft color today because, you know, it's nice and simple. It's going to be Neutral, the background. Yeah. yeah. So this has going to be veneer on top, craft board on the background. Um, and then for our tassel, this is the color we're working with today, which is the 143 faux leather. Mm -hmm. It's this in the color russet cuts, tan. Russet tan. Mm -hmm. This is truly, 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 truly amazing. I love this stuff it cuts amazing you're gonna be able to cut it really well in your Cricut um I think you're gonna be impressed like look at how detailed it cut like look at I mean this looks like I have another again like a piece of paper so you're gonna get really close really great detail um it's gonna be really simple for you and then just to show a comparison of the thickness of chipboard versus craft board and veneer so this is our chipboard. So get a good look at how thick. Pretty thick. Pretty thick. Um, now again, this would take probably 30 minutes to cut with the knife blade mm -hmm. um, and only Cricut Maker users can use this, okay? So this is what your the thickness you're going to be getting on today's project where we're using the Explore. Um, it's again, still very durable, but as you guys can see, the thickness is just a little different. Yeah. So yeah. I just like to give you guys that true comparison um, and you guys can decide if you want. And if you're wanting to see today's project a little bit more up close, look at this, my friends, such an amazing um, project, such an amazing tassel and then the leather. So, mm -hmm. so and Tanner's going to be showing you a different way to make a tassel today, which is super, yes. super neat. This one is um, made yeah. out of strips of leather. leather. Yeah. Like a leather string or something like that. And mm -hmm. actually guys, Becca made this before we had a tassel right. file. So now that we have a tassel file, why wouldn't we use it? Mm -hmm. So so if you're at Fall Summit, you got to see the tassel um, file come together. Yeah, Courtney made some beautiful it. ornaments. Yeah, we're gonna recreate it today. So uh, that is just kind of the material our mats today we're featuring. It's just a regular strong grip and a standard grip mat. Strong grip will be for our faux leather and veneer. Um, and then just the regular mat for our, actually, Rachel, hmm. is there any, I think all three layers can be cut with the strong grip mat. I may even, I, I would be careful yeah, with the maybe. craft board. Yeah, it with is really your thick, strong though. grip mat, um, just because it might curl because yeah. it's, it's a brand spanking new strong grip mat. Okay, we but 
Um, All of them work kind of yeah, hand yeah. in hand together. So we'll just go ahead and we'll, we'll use this right here. Stain your grit mats are doing really well recently, my friends. If you um, have also been having a good experience, let me know in the comments. This is a really, really fun one. So we'll just go ahead and cut our first our first little R where you connect to our machine. And guys, you want to make sure you're paying attention through this entire project mm -hmm. because each mat has a different material setting. Yes, so we're using the craft board today. We're gonna select that. You can tell it's a Cricut um, material because it has the little Cricut logo, so that's nice to remember. We can use the fine point blade here. Um, so we're gonna use more pressure. And then we're going to load this in just like so. Um, and then this is gonna be a really simple cut. We can turn fast mode on. We are using craft board with a little bit more pressure um, and it's really, really awesome. So let's go check and then let's go get to cutting. Brand new mat for us today. Yay. For those of you wondering. Gotta have a good mat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sometimes also guys, if you don't have a brand new mat, you might want to take some masking tape when you're using yes. that veneer and uh, tape down that veneer, kind of like you would if you are using chipboard. Uh, but with a brand spanking new mat, it might not be necessary. That is true. Um, Belle, can you add vinyl to veneer? You absolutely can if you'd like to. Yeah. Yeah, this You can be stain great. it, paint it, add some vinyl to it. Yeah. That'd be pretty. So it's already cut through once. Now it's going to go through and give us a second cut. And this is just cutting through, you know, the thickness of the craft board and things like that. It's going to be very handy. And it's done. So we can cut through there. We have the overhead here. I'm going to flip my material. So in times like this, look at all this extra material we have, guys. You want to be mindful that it doesn't curl like Rachel and I were just talking about earlier. Flip it around to the back and peel this way and just keep your hand down. This is going to save your material. Look at this, my friends. You're going to have a great piece that you can just go ahead and pop back in Love to it. your material. And then look at how great it cut. It cut really, really well. Beautiful. Perfect. Yep. So then for the strong grip mat today, we can pull it out over here. And then we're gonna cut our veneer. Okay, so we're gonna grab the veneer. And Tiata, it's good to see you. I haven't seen you on a live in a while. She says Joann's is offering 25% off today for veterans and their families. That's <gasps> happy amazing. Happy Veterans Day. Oh my yes, God, goodness. I've veterans not been Day. on social media, so I had no idea it was Veterans Day. Thank you so much for everyone that have served. You guys Absolutely. are amazing. I think we all have a family member or a friend who have served and are so yes, thankful today. Yes, and there's so many different places that you can go. Um, and get a free meal. So congratulations. I uh, hope you are taking in and enjoying all of the bonuses. Um, okay, so we're switching to veneer. Mm -hmm. If I can learn how to spell it. If anyone's curious, it's V-E-N-E-E-R. So veneer, natural wood veneer. Again, a Cricut material. We're gonna press done and we're going to Make sure it's on that strong grip mat and they do recommend using the masking tape on all four sides. So look at us. We're going to add, we'll add some in just to sure. just to follow sure. your cricket protocol, if you will. And you know, this is kind of like an unspoken rule. Um, but there is a blade change with this yes. material. We yes, switched yes, to yes. the deep cut blade. And I'm actually gonna switch it over to the Cricut uh, screen so you guys can see yes. it. So underneath that number one where Tanner has the default pressure, um, number two right underneath it says loaded deep point blade. Yep. So that's how you know to do a quick little blade change there. Mm -hmm. You do not, do not, do not, do not forget to change it. Now, how you're gonna know is that this is what the deep cut blade looks like, so it's black. So you just wanna open this up, whoops, and then you wanna pop in the deep point blade. So pop it in, good to go. Now you are ready to press the flashing cricket button. And we added, we didn't add four pieces of the masking tape, we only added two. Brand new mat though. Brand new mat. Brand it's new going mat. to do really well. Um, and it's going to make sure that it just holds it in place like a little snug, just a little snug little hole. So it's gonna be able to cut through. Guys, look at this. And oh if you guys goodness. don't have a deep cut blade, 
I recommend getting one just to have in How your arsenal. How much is it, Rachel? Like $15? It's not that much. It's really not. And oh it kind of expands your horizon for your Cricut Explore Air 2. Mm -hmm. um, because the machine itself can cut over 100 materials, which is amazing. Yes. I highly, highly, highly recommend um, that you do that. And then look right here. So this is a... This is a strong grip mat that has been loved on. Like, just to see here, like, we've cut a lot, a lot, a lot of things on there. So you're going to have really great results with this, no matter what you do. So you're going to have a lot of fun. Highly recommend the deep point blade um, if it's going to be your, you know, another blade to add to your, your arsenal. And it's cutting through this multiple, multiple times, too. So i like to share with you guys. Oh, my goodness, Mary Ann, I'm looking outside. It does look like a storm is about a brewing over here. Mary Ann, here. I've been dragging around my... <laughs> Your my umbrella. raincoat all day. Uh, hey, you saw me. I had it, and you now did? it's gone. And I didn't. I haven't needed it all day. Oh, mm. it's unbelievable, unbelievable. Um, if you're just now tuning in, go ahead and let us know where you're visiting from. We are working on a beautiful little monogram ornament today. I'm having a Tom just making this. It's so much fun. Renee says, do you need one for the maker? Renee, yes. So just because the maker can cut, you know, the chipboard and things like that, you have to purchase it separately. Um, so this fine point blade, um, deep cut blade, deep, deep, deep cut blade is different than the, hold on, fine point blade. Yep. So that's good. Can this project be cut on the maker? No worries, Penny. Good to see you, my friend. So yes, you can make this project with the Explorer or with the Maker. What we wanted to do was be able to make this on both machines. So one of our samples is made with the Cricut knife blade and still the deep point blade. I actually never featured the um, regular blade because the veneer is cut with the deep point blade. So then our chipboard was cut with the knife blade. Mm -hmm. So if you're doing it like we are today on an Explorer machine featured here, you will want to use the Cricut craft board just like so. And then the Cricut natural wood veneer, mm -hmm. just like so. And so, this is not technically quote unquote wood because it is a fact you cannot cut wood on a um, Cricut Explorer. But veneer is just like super, super, super thin. Yeah. I mean, I guess it is basically like wood. Look at but this. you can cut this on an Explorer, which is amazing. Yeah. Opens up a lot of opportunities for you guys. But just like Tanner said, it is very thin. Very thin, very mm -hmm. flimsy. I'll show you again. I think we just had a, a new group pop in. So if you if you are just tuning in, let us know here in the comments. We would love to hear from you. Um, but we have kind of been chatting about this. Look at look at how good you're able to peel this backwards. And then like this is pretty pretty flimsy. Like mm -hmm. so yeah, the the explorer can definitely cut this. Yeah, so you will want to have a background. So what we did, if you're just tuning in, was we already cut out a backing for you. So this is our backing and then this is our top layer. So this is how we're going to attach it to make it a little bit more durable. And then this one right here is our chipboard one. So we have the chipboard one and then the craft board one. So craft board with explorer, chipboard for maker, um, and still using that deep point blade for the veneer, either no matter what machine you use. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now our last mat is our amazing leather tassel. Now, where's the Makers Gonna Learn members at? Because you can download the tassel cut file right now from makersgonnalearn.com and you can make your very own tassel with us. The tassel Becca made was before we actually had this cut file out, um, so you were not able to get it. But today you are able to go ahead and we're gonna make this together. You're gonna be blown away. Um, and the only thing you have to do, my friends, is after you import the file in, you have to attach it to, you know, attach everything together. It's already grouped, but you have to attach it, okay? So that's all you have to do. And then today, Rachel, what is our 143 vinyl faux leather color? Uh, Russet Tan. Russet Tan is mm -hmm. here. This is faux leather again from 143 vinyl. They have a lot of different colors. Highly recommend you guys check it out. Um, and this, I believe we just cut on the faux leather setting. Yeah, um, absolutely. Paper thin or paper something thin, like that. Yeah. There's, yep, right there. Faux leather, paper Yay. thin. So yep. this is going to be cut on just like any typical, um, any typical faux leather, whether it's Cricut or not, we just use that same setting. So fine point blade is back in, still using the strong grip mat. 
Um, and Miss Shirley, so glad you're still hanging around with us. Hello, hello, hello um, again. But yes, we do go over what the maker does. I really want to make sure if you are considering a membership today, our, your membership is on sale, you get the 30 days to master that Cricut challenge. When you open up the ebook, you're going to get everything right here, the table of contents, we go deep into what's the differences between vinyl, a deeper look in design space, what tools do you need, how to lay your vinyl, cut vinyl, beginners to everything, working with our cut files, everything you need is there. And again, our year membership is on sale today, my friends, for $40 off. So do not miss out on that deal, $40, using the coupon code BEST, get grandfathered in, if you're an existing member, so you can stack that membership. Or if you are just saying, Tanner, I love the membership, but I don't have one. I'm a fan of the YouTube channel. I need to get a membership. Today is another great day to join. Um, we are so excited to have you. Mm -hmm. okay. And I do want to mention, this there is going to take a while. That is going to take a while. <laughs> there are three interchangeable blades between the Cricut Maker and the Cricut Explorer. And they yes. are the fine point blade, the deep cut blade, and the fabric bonded Love blade. It. So we've gotten a lot of questions on what do I use for the maker the same ones so you can use the same ones we're using today those are three interchangeable ones that you can use between the both uh, the two machines so Yay. that's something to something to think about if you have both like we do we can recycle yes. some of them yes so what we're cutting now is a cut file that you're able to make with your Cricut um, so we're going to make a tassel straight from the Cricut. It's cutting through every layer. It's going to be great. We're already 20% done with this cut. So we're at 17% and it's fantastic. So we've got rainbow bow, um, boba. Um, I'm new. I'm ne I've never seen the channel before. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh my goodness, we got Stephanie just upgraded to the Maker and was so excited about it, but got it a few days ago. And now I'm so scared to even wondering, or so scared to even open it, wondering if I just wasted my money. Stephanie, you upgraded, my friend. So you probably had an Explorer. You just got a Cricut Maker. Congratulations. That is an amazing investment. I want you to take you a fresh breath of air. It's you did totally not okay. waste your money. You, did not you waste made your a money. wise investment. Yes. The thing you're going to be able to do with your maker today, my friends, is you're going to be able to cut more. You're going to be able to cut faster. It's going to be a great experience. And do you not love the look of it? You are going to have a lot of fun. So we're really excited for you to have that maker. If you're nervous, again, this challenge right here is great for you to get started to take it out of the box. We talk on both machines, yes. But if you've already crafted the Cricut, you're going to be able to do even more with that maker. You're going to be able to cut that chipboard, do more 3D projects, do better projects, you know, and more of them. So do not feel like you wasted your money at all. Let us know how we can help you. Yes, you're going to love that amazing uh, maker. And Barbie, oh my goodness, feel better. I'm so glad you do not have a fever. Stay quarantined, stay chilling at home, stay crafting if you have the energy. And hey, when you don't have the energy, you can watch us craft or you can watch your favorite Netflix show um, during your time. Just rest. So sorry. Rest yes. up. Yeah. Um, it has been tough. Knock on wood. Not any of the makers of the learn team has had COVID, I don't think. No. Um, I may have... Courtney and Rachel would argue they've already had it. Um, that's a whole other story. Um, back in Jan January? Mine was in February. So yeah. I tell, I, I was so sick, guys, and I've had a lot of other illnesses, and it didn't feel like any of them, none of them. And I went to... You got to tested for the flu. The flu, the strep. I had to go to, like, this uh, urgent care clinic. Um, I was running a fever 102. I felt awful. Tested negative for the strep and the flu, and they just assumed it might have been another strand of the flu and sent me home with, uh, you know, some flu medication. Yeah. But I really it think you? it was corona. It didn't. I mean, I... I don't think so, at least. I don't know. But uh, it's so know. different for each person. I've it heard is. teenagers have it really bad. I mean, I've heard older people are totally fine. People lose their taste, their yeah. smell, their energy. Some people Lots have zero. Yeah. Some people are, you know, take it really hard. I, it's just, yeah. it's a really weird illness. It's awful. Uh, uh, uh. It's, it's unbelievable. 
So yes, if you're brand new and you do need help mastering that maker and you're a member, get plugged in on the Facebook group. There's a lot of projects you can check out. But again, if you have an explore or just any Cricut you're wanting to master, I know our membership is gonna be right for you with thousands of cut files and just so many amazing benefits in that membership. So if you love the free videos, I highly recommend you get plugged in today with our best value year membership. $40 off, use that coupon code BEST at checkout. You do not wanna miss out on this 16 more days until our Black Friday extravaganza event. So exciting. But the offer is going to go away soon. So do not wait out. Do not try to wait for this. Grab it while you can. Start Christmas crafting with us because it's so much fun. Yeah, and guys, it's called, you use the coupon code BEST because it's our literal best the, deal the of the year. Price. We don't the get it price. any lower. You're not going to find it any lower. And to beat all guys, you get grandfathered in. So every single year that you stay with us, you continue to get price. this lower rate. You're if never, we ever raise our prices you're or anything in. like that, you're locked into the lowest rate you can get. Exactly. So, I mean, and it's the best Yay. time of year. Fill your home with Christmas Amazing decor projects. like this. Yeah. Gift make ideas. all of them. Yeah, make all your gifts. Love the Guys, gift you could save so much money. And It'll a lot of really people good. say when they got their membership, they've basically saved the money that they have either spent using that commercial license or given gifts. So yeah, you can definitely make your money back. For sure. Okay. This is a little overwhelming after all these cuts. I do have to say, Rachel, super impressed at how fast it cut through. That went a lot faster than expected. Yeah. Um, so now what we're going to do is flip this over. And then we're going to peel it this way. Oh, snap. Oh, my. Uh, uh, what? what? Oh, my goodness. Guys. That's so satisfying. Guys. Oh, y'all. <laughs> do you see this here? Oh, look at wow. That. Like, look, look. Oh. What, whoa, we're doing I love sound it. Effects. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I've got to move my keyboard out of the way because we're about to start some real crafting. Now, before we do this, so here is what we've cut out. So this is what we saw in Design Space. You have your craft board layer, you have your veneer layer, and now you have your beautiful tassel. We're obviously featuring my friend Lynn Lilly, her beautiful hot glue gun. Lynn, if you're watching, hello. I miss you. Um, we have her hot, tent, hot glue gun. We're going to start on the chunky side. And we're going to pretty much just roll this together and try to not glue ourselves um, or anything. So we'll end up, you know, rolling it a little, add glue, roll it a little, add glue, roll it a little, add glue. But before we do that, we need a little strip. So what we're going to do is get us a little strip of leather to attach here. So I'm going to say, you know, we don't have rolled leather. So we're just gonna cut us a little piece from our faux leather. Yeah, and guys, feel free to uh, take a square and make it into a rectangle, super thin strip if you want to in design space, but hand cutting is just as easy as well. Mm -hmm. So just like so, mine is definitely not perfect and I'm okay with it. Okay, I'm not okay with it actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not okay. You, with it. you take it back. You yeah, take it. I, I take it back. I take it back. Um, see, like this is too thick. Hmm. We will. We'll just try again right here. Maybe I'll purposely make it like an awkward size. It doesn't have to be perfect. I know, but now like the other one looked too odd. This one much much. Oh, better. this one looks. Oh good. my goodness! It, it, this just has some, you know. Oh, that's. Look fine. at that. Oh, Look yeah, at that. That's okay. good. Okay, so great. So we've got that. What we're going to do is we're going to start just to, the goal is to keep this as tight as possible and like lined up at the top. I really do not like when these do not look like uniformed right here. So just like so, we're going to roll it a little bit. And then once, you know, we come to a good part, you know, this is about one fourth of the way, we'll be able to take this and then glue it right here. Okay. Okay. Do, 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 do. And then we take that. Please do not knock over my hot glue gun. And then we're going to roll it. Look at this. Y'all, I have an announcement. If Marianne Toffoletto is still here. She is. I, Marianne, have you, are you, what, have we decided what we're going to do on our vacation together? I am going on a trip with Marianne and apparently all of her friends <laughs> to Snowmobile um, in January. <laughs> Way to ring in wait. the new year. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a little bit after. I forget the dates, but it's it's like a week or two after. But yeah, we're Yellowstone, Marianne. I'm hoping you're excited. 
Um, doo -doo -doo. So, okay, we're, we're just rolling in this. I would definitely go slow when it comes to this, just because you, again, wanna make sure it's lined up properly. I'm so impressed. I love leather, but I get so intimidated. I don't know about you guys. Um, so if you are- And Tanner, hang on. I might, if I was you, add your little string nail. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I okay. would in the middle. Okay. I like that. I think so. I had a nice little glop here. So I'm going to be able to, I'm just going to put this in the middle. Whoa. What we, oh. Well, I was going to thread oh. it through. How would you, how are you going to do it? I would have glued, which, which oh, wait, there's wait, different I have a ways. Idea. Are I would have glued thinking? both butt ends to yeah. the. Yeah. Yeah. Are you thinking about, are you thinking about a, I think I know what you're saying. Um, I, I was considering that, but I was a little scared. Now I'm a hot glue. Are you oh, thinking you about something scared? like this? Don't be, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I like this too. Okay, so. Okay, what? Well, uh, Hold on. Like the other way, like stick the ends in the glue. Do, 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 do. Okay, one second. Just one crafter's opinion, though. I mean, For there's, sure. there's, there's a, a lot of different yeah. ways to do it. Sure. Um, the hot tin pot glue gun. We're gonna add some extra um, once we get here. So. So do 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 do. Oh uh, well, now this is gonna bring up an interesting predicament here, Rachel. I'm kind of excited to have a little challenge. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll we'll challenge when we get there. But yeah. I'm continuing. I'm, I'm faithful to this idea. Yeah. Because I think it's gonna look a lot more finished. It but will, now, yeah. oh wait, never mind. I think what? I think we've already worked through. I've already worked through the issue. Have you already worked through? I the don't issue? know. Hubby said he might as well not go since Tanner and Courtney and I'll be crafting and building snowmen. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited, Marianne. I, I'm a little nervous, Marianne. Like to be honest, like I'm, we're gonna be in the middle of Yellowstone National Park. I'm, I'm a little nervous not to be snowmobiling it up. Okay, so we're just going along, just like so. Oh my goodness. Okay. And then we're gonna just continue it out. Guys, this is literally so easy, so fast. I could be putting tassels on Christmas gifts all holiday season. You could, you could. Oh my goodness, the sure. leather looks amazing. Yes. Okay. The so, only thing maybe we should have done was put the loop on there in the beginning. You know, to make it in the actual center. But you know, I didn't think that far ahead. I think we're gonna be but able you know to what? work do around it. Do as we it. say, not as we do. Yeah, I think, I think but we'll be no, able to But it'll look fun. totally good, it'll look fine. Yeah, look at this. Ta-da! Okay, so we've got this right here. Oh my goodness. So Rachel, I don't think it's that bad of a big of a deal because look, we've got it like right here. And then, you know, you can That's cute. work out your little tassel. <gasps> Guys, That's look really at cute. it. That's I really love cute. it. Okay, so this is our cut fall tassel, which I mean, literally is like flopping in the wind. So amazing. Um, it's awesome. And then this is the one you could do with just strings. So they like practically identical. Mm -hmm. Like I would never notice. Um, this is faux leather. This is real leather. Faux leather, real leather. So either way you want to go with it. Again, really awesome. I think like, this one's a little more floppier and I kind of like it. So that's great. Now what we're going to do is we need to attach these right here. So I'm going to just add on the backing, I'm gonna add just like, try to get a thin layer of hot glue. Um, you could use an ATG gun for this, but the hot glue is probably going to last longer um, and just do a little bit better. Notice I'm trying to do a thin coat. So I'm trying to spread out the hot glue. Don't get too close to the edges cause it will you know, thin down. And then just like so, work fast. This is a hot tin pot glue gun. It's gonna dry really quickly. Um, position it down, just like so. And then apply pressure. What I love about this is you can always go back in and add more um, hot glue or anything like that. So again, it like starts drying really fast. So if it does, you can just add in more and then just add it in just like so. Yay. And you could have used like a dry adhesive, but hot glue is just going to kind of hold it a mm -hmm. little bit better and make it last a little bit longer. Hot glue is really good for that. Yep. So now you have it glued. And then what you can do, and this is a really you know easy way to do it, um, you can literally just thread this through right here. So you're able to you know take it off as needed as well. So now you have the tassel and you literally just have everything ready to go. So you can hang it on the tree just like this. Um, and it's really good. You can add it in a lot of different ways. You can do, you know, 
you're gonna put it around back. But since you want it to be you know, pretty permanent, like right up here in the corner anyway, this is a great little way to hang it. Cute, cute. Oh my goodness, so many different ways. Here's, so here's ours that we just made. Here's another one. This is using a little divots and some pliers to kind of build it out. So this one, like to our left here, like you're getting the same experience. Um, you know, obviously on the tree, it'll start moving. The more you like work with the faux leather and kind of crinkle it, the more authentic it's gonna look like a tassel. So if you're going to use the tassel file for anything like making um, things for your family, um, a lot of keychains, like I really love um, using the tassels for keychains, people love that. Um, but what I was gonna say about that is, you know, the longer you work with it, the better it looks. So this looks a little, you know, cut out and not you know, perfectly straight and uniformed. The more you work with it, the more you have it, the more it'll kind of separate out. So, so many different options to make one of these amazing ornaments, my friends. What do you guys think? What colors of faux leather would you use? Guys, you could use red even. They have so Ooh. many different colors of yeah. leather that you can, there's patterned leather if you want to do yes. some patterned leather. And Miss Marie, this is just the uh, tassel cut file from Makers Gonna Learn. So mm -hmm. if you go to our amazing search feature and just type in the word tassel, it'll be right there for yeah, you. Yeah, it's amazing. Okay. We've We've got Stacy, first timer. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, hello, hello. Amy's first time. Amazing. Welcome, everyone. Guys, these are fantastic, fantastic for you to be able to start making um, right away to have some amazing projects for this holiday season. You're not going to believe how easy it is. This right here is called the tassel cut file. So this is the tassel. And then if the font you're curious about, it's Brock the Jock awesome font and what you're going to do is cut out this right here um so you're going to sauce through a little circle and it's fantastic we got our leather from 143 vinyl it's their faux leather you cut it on the paper thin setting guys it's a fantastic i promise you this is a such a store-bought um, project idea that you're going to be able to recreate this holiday season really well um, and it's going to be fantastic so yay look at it on the stocking if you guys are just tuning in you can check it out on the stocking this right here is going to look phenomenal um, for organizing everything Rachel was talking about it earlier you could do this at place settings there's a lot of different options for you to make this project so let us know where you are going to put yours um, you can use this with the Explorer. You can use this with the Cricut Maker. Whatever you want, you're gonna be able to bring this project to life. And again, one font, one cut file. I can tell you right now, I'm gonna take it off for a second. I can tell you right now, these tassels are way easier to make than I ever expected, Rachel. Uh, the Cricut love. literally does all the work. Yeah. 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 And like, the paper thin, like it literally cut all of this. Like I'm so impressed um, with the Cricut Explorer 2. So again, my friends, if you're considering getting a Cricut this holiday season, we have our links down below. If you're watching and you're like, Tanner, I need to buy a Cricut and I need to buy one right now. Our affiliate links are down below. We do earn a small commission and it is so much fun. And grandma's gone crafty. You can hey. add iron on to the veneer and the leather if you want to. You can absolutely yes. iron on those two materials. Yeah, fantastic question. The veneer is very thin. The veneer is very workable, so you're going to really, really enjoy that. So it's really great. Um, I love this project. You're going to enjoy it as well. And again, my friends, if you're a first-time visitor here, Makers Gonna Learn is your die-cutting craft community. We're the number one place to get your education, your motivation, and your inspiration to make amazing projects with your Cricut. We promise a majority of our members see that their crafting is actually up in their first month of being a member with us and it usually takes them less time to do their crafting and wow was that car loud um so you're gonna definitely have a lot of fun if you're a beginner we've been talking about it all day today the master your cricket 30 day challenge is included complimentary in the year membership this is a phenomenal 30 day video challenge you're going to love it um, and you're going to be able to master everything you need to know about your Cricut. And then after you've completed this, every single project is going to be so amazing for you after you've got started with this. So today we do have our Black Friday sale going on, only 16 days left. Definitely want to hurry in and get it, whether you are an existing member and you're like, Tanner, I want to make sure that next year I'm at the lowest rate. You may be saying, Tanner, I am brand new and I don't know where to start with my Cricut. 
this membership is the right place for you to get started. A lot of other courses out there are going to be more expensive than what our program is. You don't get access for an entire um, year with those programs, you just get the programming. But in addition, you're getting the beginner course plus the cut files, plus the fonts. So if you do the math, our year membership is 42 cents a day um, at the sale price, which is incredible compared to paying three to five dollars a cut file on Etsy or on the low end, 99 cents a cut file. You're getting access to our entire library. Every single week we have new launches on Thursday. Um, so it's a lot of fun. So yay, I love it. Oh my goodness, so, so much fun. I'm upping, I'm topping up on my membership on Friday. Yay, you're going to love that. Definitely go ahead and stack those membership tiers if you need so you're able to craft with us at the lowest rate and you're never going to have to worry about adding a coupon code or anything because guess what guys, this is our best deal and is our best deal. So you do not want to miss out on that. Um, so yay. Oh my goodness. My renewal isn't until July, 2022. That's amazing. <laughs> Stack it up, girl. Oh, yes. Let us know what questions you have regarding the project. We will be able to make sure we give you all the details of anything you need. If you're saying Tanner, I'm ready to join the membership. Um, right now, I want to go ahead and just share with you guys the join page. Um, right here is where you're going to go to get signed up and registered for the amazing membership. So this right here, you know, there's been over 185,000 subscribers. Y'all, we are up to almost 300,000 subscribers. So crazy, crazy. We have over 8,500 members and we've been able to touch so many amazing cricketers um, that you do not want to miss out on this. So use the coupon code BEST when you are going through and joining. And then let me go ahead and refresh my page real quick. So... If you're already a member, you wanna go right here. And if you're already a member, you can get on, on the deal. You just wanna click here, and this is going to stack your membership. So it's going to do the Black Friday year membership. You're in at the rate, no coupon code needed for existing members. Um, and you're gonna be able to get all of the goodness. So this right here is phenomenal. You can get in on all the memberships, all the projects, all the cut files, everything. There's thousands of cut files with new releases every month, hundreds of fonts with new months, new fonts added every single month, the commercial license, I love that, and 10 online classes completely free. Um, this right here kind of breaks down all the pricing. It takes the year membership from $15.99 a month down to $12.99 a month. I love it. Um, so all you need to do is use that coupon code BEST at checkout. So monthly members now get fonts. So if you want to you know, grab the membership and start there, we highly recommend you guys just getting plugged in. So yay, so much goodness. You get the 30 day challenge, you get the frame masterclass and so much more in that year membership. So yay, thanks Mary Ann. I love that you're enjoying the new site. Um, and then can you do a 3D lantern demonstration? Um, Darlene, we have some really great ideas and videos on mastering 3D projects. And Rachel, I'm trying to think, let me do a quick YouTube search because I feel like we made a 3D lantern last year. Did we? Ah. Uh, Let's see. Okay, okay, so maybe we didn't, but there are some really great videos on working with our 3D projects. We have a 3D lantern cut file. We do, yeah. we do. So yes, you will be able to watch that. If you need help, watch some of our other 3D project videos because the basics and the principles are all the same. So if you, let's see here, 3D projects. Does not, Becca not have an amazing um, video in the member only group for that as well mm -hmm. for 3D projects? Mm -hmm. Yes, so you can do that. If you, you can build one of my letters with me, you can do anything, truly. You can literally stack everything. Um, Becca also has this video on the Spotify um, 3D project, so you can do that, and it's so much fun. So, yay! Are we able to make postcards with the Cricut Maker? Um, you could easily probably cut that out. And Renee, if you are an existing member, yes. So you would be, this is our member-only homepage. So if you're a member, you get all of our guides completely complimentary. You're never gonna miss a release. You're never going to get confused where to get the Facebook group at. 
and you can check out member only videos. So this is like the 3D letter, grid education, pennant banner, make a card with us, Christmas in July, um, which would be very relevant right now. So anyway, let me share with you how to get the 30 day challenge if you're an existing member. So guys, considering membership today, this is what your back end would look like as soon as you get plugged in. So you would click courses, you would see the 30 day to master your Cricut challenge, and then you would just start going through all the videos, and then each day you get your link to the book. So this is your 36 page digital ebook you can print out to follow along. Every single day, you know, is broken down right here. And then you could flip to page, you know, say, you know, 17, or whatever page you need and you kind of get a little recap of everything so it's really phenomenal and we love it so you guys do not want to miss out on on that um, it's fantastic so if you're wondering how to work with our fonts how to work with our cut balls things like that it's awesome so we are really really excited for that so yay definitely join now if you are already considering membership rachel are there any questions everyone have been having let me know you answered the last one we had which oh. was about the amazing 30-day cricket course um miss carol yay. says i was looking at 3d cut files is there some flight some place to find instructions. So we do have lots of 3D videos for you, mm -hmm. either member only with Miss Becca, which is a little bit more yes. in depth than the ones here on YouTube, but there are some here. If you go to exactly. our YouTube channel and type in 3D, you'll see some, yes. um, but they are super easy. Once you work with one it's of them- It's very repetitive. Yes, once you work with say. one, the uh, kind of the technique is the same through all for of them. For sure. When you start working with 3D projects, you are going to love them. As Be Rachel was saying, you're going to be able to take it. All The biggest thing here, and I did it with this project earlier, you have to attach those uh, scoring lines to your project. So go ahead and, you know, attach those scoring lines. You're going to be golden, and then you'll be able to see the project through a lot more, e a lot easier. You do have to change those lines to score, then attach. So change your score lines to actually score, then attach those. Um, and then you're golden. Just make sure you size it appropriately. Um, and it is so much fun um, for you guys to be able to do that. And then what I would also recommend is to cut it out on your material. Use thicker material than you probably think possibly. Um, and then make sure to have a bone folder. If you do not have a bone folder to work with 3D projects, I order one on Amazon right now. Like you definitely, definitely need this, this right here. It's fantastic. I love it. Um, so it's a lot, a lot of fun. So yay. And then after that, you just want to work with your ATG gun. I love using the ATG gun for 3D projects. It's really fantastic. So you guys are going to be able to rock it. Look guys, I got this new sticker. Um, this is a company called Common Goods Co. And it says make more, want less, do good. I love That's it. That's cute. I love it. And then I also went to this new um, skate and snow shop called Recess. I got a new sticker this weekend. Um, so this is my water bottle. As you guys know, I've been transitioning from water bottles, plastic water bottles, to a hydro flask. So I got a free sticker, free sticker. Corny bought me the sticker. They gave me this free sticker. I paid for the sticker and I paid for the sticker. So yay, I love it. Um, it's so much fun. And if you guys have any questions, go ahead, drop them right now before we head out. I'm about to take my mom shopping um, and we're trying to beat the 3 p.m. school rush because you know how mamaw is. She needs her, she needs her time. <laughs> uh, so it's a lot of fun, but such an easy project, guys. I'm actually kind of impressed at how flawless this turned out. Like we were full proof. Full proof, full proof would be a really good way of describing this project. Like I literally. If you need an easy win today, make this. <laughs> yeah, that would be that would be a good point. Three different materials, three different mats, solid project, store bought quality. Um, and you guys are going to be able to really rock this. So congratulations to all of our first time visitors. Come back. We're usually live at 1.30 p.m. Eastern. Be sure to like the video, subscribe if you are not already plug it into our channel, go check out a lot of our amazing videos, so many good ones, and our best value deal ends on Black Friday. So the last day to take advantage of our Black Friday deal is Black Friday, and we're having an entire event. So if you're not already coming to it, put it on your calendar um, and get ready to have fun. And it's gonna be a lot, a lot of fun. Um, we are likely getting shut down anytime again, 
grandma's going crafty you are not wrong i have from what i've heard the only reason we are not shut down is due to the election and every other country we have um russia shut down we have all of almost all of europe shut down um, by shut down do you mean like quarantined again yes yes a, ah. ma a mandated um a lot of countries you have to have like pieces of paper to actually be able oh. to leave your home oh. things like that um and black friday is in 16 days it's on november 27th question mark i wonder how the world's gonna do black friday or not the world but here like i wonder we're how gonna that's be crafting gonna be. we're gonna be seeing how that's gonna go <laughs> yeah it's gonna be great um I at least you it. know you guys can come here yes. on black friday I, yeah, you're going to be here yeah. crafting. Like, you're not going to have to be worried about anything. So it's going to be fantastic. So um, whenever, you know, coming up very soon, the day after Thanksgiving, we will be crafting from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern. So it's going to be an amazing day. Cannot wait to hang out with your faces. Um, we have segments planned. We have craft challenges. We have so much goodness, giveaways. We cannot wait to hang out with you. Um, so it's going to be a lot of fun. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. Miss Kat, only 10 more radiation treatments. Yay! Congratulations. Kat. You're rocking it. That's going to be fantastic. Woohoo! Yay, Marie. Yes, yes, yes. Stay safe, everyone. Grab that deal if you haven't already. Use the coupon code BEST at checkout on that year membership to save $40 and get grandfathered in today. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. We'll see you back here tomorrow for another fun project and guys I cannot wait for the reveal coming on Friday so have a great one my friends and I'll see you back here tomorrow at 1 30 p.m eastern bye now